Thank you very much, Philippe. You've done well. Triptych events, guys. Get in touch. First day out in Paris. Let's go check it out. Oh, are they still asleep? What's up, YouTube? How are we doing today? We are in Paris for a 48 hour food tour with the family. Recommendations from Liz Allen or Liz Haig, as she's now known. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take you on some amazing places on this tour. 48 hours. We'll get the clock started. But first, we wanna go check out Mercy, one of our favorite design stores. Yeah, first up, Mercy. Liz, I think you got some pretty amazing places booked in for us today. I'm hoping so, because I'm dying for a coffee. Absolutely dying for a coffee. Uh, <laughs> any clues as to where we're going first? Well, a good friend of mine uh, has opened up a cafe here in Paris. Uh, we're just about to head in. It's called Muscovado, run by a lovely lady, Coquina. Uh, we're about to go have a coffee and a bit of cake there. I do love coffee. Uh, I need a coffee right now. Make it a double for sure. Let's check it out. This is Muscovado. So just in a couple of short words, how would you describe what's going on here? Um, we do all our in-house, we make our breads in-house and stuff, and it's a, I don't know, everything's made with love, and we try to put a bit of the English influence in it. It's a homey cafe. Yeah, a few home favourites from, from London as well, and some incredible coffee, and this amazing cake, which, if you can see there, it's beautiful. A cake that makes it so amazing. Root beer? Root beer. Root beer. Yeah. But right. square it so no root beer. Alright, cool. So everyone should come down here at the start of the day and get some amazing breakfast and yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for the coffee. So first stop for lunch is none other than Sep Team. I've been waiting, well we've been waiting for a really really long time to get in here. The trick is to book this three weeks ahead. Uh, super excited to try this food, it's kind of like a mix of modern European, Parisian, so it's definitely worth a stop if you're in Paris. Very very excited, I'm not sure if we can film inside but yeah we'll see what we can do. Let's go check it out. Critic right here, you just 
just never know what it goes. It's too hard to please. Yeah, really hard to read as well. So I just have to wait for your review, won't we? <laughs> just have to wait to see what you publish. Yeah. Okay, alright. <laughs> Pretty amazing. We just finished up at Septi. Uh, I've got to say that's, yeah, definitely one of the best meals I've had in Paris. Uh, next to Bones, which was probably like three years ago. Really uh, smart cooking. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to articulate what's good about it. I'm the consumer. You're the chef. I'm sure you can. <laughs> I'm sure you can say a lot more about why it was good. But if well, you're personally for me, it was really well balanced. Zingy. You've got citrus. You've got. It was rich. It was. Fun. I don't know who they are, but <laughs> mega fans. I think mega fans of SEP Team is what you can take away from that. When you're talking about SEP Team, people just get involved, they love it. Yeah, I think taking babies to restaurants is a really good idea. That was challenging at first. You can't do it on your own, you need two people, two parents to. Uh, and a lot of wine. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Looking after a baby in a nice restaurant when baby's crying and everyone's looking at you is definitely, definitely not easy. So drink your way through it. The service at Septim was incredible. So yeah, hot tip. Hit up Septim. Three weeks. Remember? Three weeks. Three weeks. Uh, yes, what is next? I think one of the big questions is where can I get amazing pastries? Eclairs. Uh, I think Liz has a couple of suggestions on where to go, so I'm going to pass it over to her. What have you got in mind for next steps? I've got a nice tip from a friend. Uh, we're going to Le Claire de Genie, which sounds pretty exciting. So head on that way and get some sweets. Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. Liz has Riley under control. Everyone's full, needs a nap before the next trip. And tonight we're gonna try and get into none other than Liz. Q, Liz. Zep Team's second establishment, the Cavill Vans. Cavill Vans. Uh, yeah, lots of wine. You can't come to Paris without getting some amazing wines and Cavavin sounds like the best place to go. We had an amazing lunch at Septim, and so we want to continue on that theme of amazing, amazing, unbelievable, wine. natural wines, unusual wines, sparkling wines. Uh, so off we go tonight. Um, but check back in soon, and we'll get back to you. Really tired today, so we still want to head out, have a 
nice meal, try something different, but uh, this place is really, really small, so there's no chance of getting a pram in there, so we've opted for uh, the baby carrier, and yeah, hopefully it goes really well, and if not, you'll never see this. <laughs> right, here we go, right, so to give you some perspective of what I look like right now. suggestion from Liz. Uh, we had to book over the phone because everyone that walked in there got turned away so pretty popular place. At least three four tables we saw. Yeah and they described it as a natural wine bar with uh, a small list of snacks so yeah kind of like an Asian vibe with I guess some kind of European influence like beef tartare or mm -hmm. drunken mussels and yeah overall it's just amazing and this little guy was Dreamy is fast asleep the whole time, so luckily we've been able to get back just in time before he's properly kicked off. But yeah, that concludes today, and we'll be back with more.